nice tree in the creek, guys. folks and welcome back to another episode of Fox River Bushcraft. I'm Jonathan Aguirre and today we're at a small creek here to remove blockage. Stick around. All right folks so we're here to remove some blockage in the creek to get the water flowing right. Let's take a look at what's going on here. So we have a lot of buildup, leaf litter, sticks going across, and a tree fell right here. So I brought my silky saw to cut all this material hanging over the creek so nothing else gets blocked on the way through. So uh, we got a lot of work to do. Let's get started. This is a full size tree in the creek, guys. warmer today guys about 40 degrees so the water's not too bad on the hands as it gets colder we'll have to get some rubber gloves insulated
guys. Now we just need to cut a couple of these. Uh, there's a tree that fell on the creek. We need to cut some of these branches out to, uh, so this uh, blockage doesn't create again. All right, guys, I got a new uh, silky blade. I actually snapped um, <clears throat> my old one in half right at the tip. It's still a good blade. I'm still going to use it, but I'm going to take it off and put the newer one on for this project. So let's get this old blade off. Just using a quarter. These silky blades are amazing for cutting through wood. It's like butter. So I'm just going to take this out right here. That's good. Put that there. Take the old blade out. Japanese made guys, the best cutting tools I've ever seen. You don't want to rush through cutting with these because you can snap them and that's what I did with the old one. I was going a little too fast and when I was pushing back in the blade bent and snapped right there. I always have to remind myself not to move too fast. You don't need to because it, it cuts so effortlessly. I was just in a rush and I was just like trying to get through it. But I often remind myself not to go so fast because it's so easy to cut with these. Got the washer. Oh, oh butter fingers. There we go. Put the washer right there. Screw back in. Put that back. Let's use the quarter to tighten it back up. Then guys, when you get all when you get the screw tightened all the way down, just give it a snug, put two quarters on both ends. And just hold one and give the other one a turn. And we're ready to go. Alright guys, let's get this uh, fallen tree out of the creek. show you guys something. <clears throat> All right, so this is about two inch in diameter. And it cuts through, you saw on video just now, it took me like two seconds, three seconds to get through this. And this is a pull saw, it only cuts on the pull. It doesn't cut when you push it forward. So if you're interested in these, just remember that you don't have to apply a pressure when you're going forward. Not too much pressure either when you're going backward because it cuts so effortlessly. So I'll leave this uh, in the description below if you're interested. Uh, they also make really big versions of this too. I can't afford them, but one day I'll be able to. Um, I want to get the Katana, the Katana Boy uh, Silky Saw. That thing is beautiful. A couple hundred bucks, but we're almost there. <laughs> Let's keep going. We got a couple more branches to cut out. I think we got one more cut to make. Get this small one out of the way real quick. And I think just this last one right here, what's holding up the rest of the uh, blockage over here, the leaf litter and debris. So let's get this out of here. Nice and easy. Oh, there goes my phone. Good thing that wasn't in the water. <laughs> go. Should be the last branch we have to cut. All 
All right, let's get the rest of the blockage out of here. done here let's take a look at the dramatic difference so remember in the beginning of the video this whole bend of the creek was filled with material we got it out of there we did a good job water's flowing real good remember it was just coming out of this one little section over here now we have the whole creek there's a couple more bo blockages up creek they might be beaver dams but that was this was just a uh, a lot of trees fell in the creek and it's good to get it out of here so everything flows right so that it doesn't create little uh debris dams and stuff like that but we'll journey up creek we'll check some other stuff out guys sorry about that i had to shut off the camera there was a city worker with a leaf blower coming down the trail it's pretty loud so uh yeah guys we did a good job today we got the beaver or beaver dam we got the blockage out of the creek not a beaver dam just a bunch of blockage holding up the water but uh yeah we did a good job guys had a great time super satisfying watching all that cleanup can't wait to watch the video hope you guys enjoy it so that being said guys i need you to do me a favor hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up so we can get into the youtube algorithm so other people can find this video and enjoy it as you have till next week johnny out